The best face swapper is here. I'll show you how to use it and how to install it. Roop is dead. I'll also show you several workflows and tricks to it, so stick around. Hey, Editing Seb here. Just wanted to dive in quickly and tell you why Reactor is better than Roop now. Reactor gives you high resolution face swaps with upscaling, works great with CPU only, so you don't need a big beefy GPU, works both for SDXL and 1.5 models, automatically detects the gender and age of the characters, it's uncensored, and it's still in development. Let's get back to the other step now. Oh, and um, I got hit in the head with a, a soda can yesterday. Luckily, it was a soft drink. AI. We have an input image here. So this woman here, we have also this input image, the Mona Lisa, and the end result will be, so here you have the same image, but with a completely new face. Super simple, I'll show you how now. First off, we're gonna use Stable Diffusion for this, so if you don't have that installed, check my previous video on how to install that up in the corner right now. Then we're gonna get the Reactor extension. And while Roop was kind of the king previously, Roop has been uh, discontinued. It, you can still use it, but it's not continually developed anymore. So if you are on Automatic 11.11, this is the link for you. If you are on Comfy, this is the link for you. I'm going to have everything in the description below. And you're also going to need to install Visual Studio 2022. And you have two links here for Windows users. You can either install the complete package or only Visual Studio C++ build tools. If you want the easy version, just get the big one here. And if you want uh, the, the light version, you can go with a little link down here. We're gonna go with the, the big easy one for now. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna press community, free download, we're gonna continue here, and it says getting the Visual Studio installer ready. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish. I think it's time to start uh, swapping up some of the pictures in this, um, this background here. Let me start implementing some SDXL images. What do you guys think? So the first step here is finished. It has downloaded all the files, and I was gonna continue with installing these. It's a fairly smooth process, but depending on your computer and bandwidth, could take a, a couple of minutes. So if you're gonna be playing a lot with Stable Diffusion and the extensions, you might wanna press Python and desktop development for C++, which might help you with other extensions, but it's not necessary for now. You can just press install here, and we're gonna continue without the workloads. Once that's finished, you're gonna go to step two here. So we're gonna copy this link here, and then we're gonna go into Stable Diffusion, we're gonna go into Extensions up here, Install from URL, and you're gonna drop that link in there and press Install. Use Install tab to restart. So we're gonna go to Install tab, we're gonna press Apply and Restart UI. And if everything worked correctly, you should see in your terminal here, Reactor Status Running. So that's great. Now that we're back in Stable Fusion, we're gonna see Reactor down here. So this is gonna be your new face swapper, the new Roop, so to speak. And there are several ways to achieve a face swap. First, I'm gonna show you the quickest way, and that is with a previous image. So if you go into image to image here, and let's take the image that we had previously in the beginning of the video, let's drop that woman in there. Make sure to press the little uh, ruler here to set the size and take the denoising strength, set that to zero, open your reactor and drop in the face you wanna swap. In this case, the Mona Lisa, press enable. Now you don't need to do anything else except press generate. And now you'll get the image on the left with the face swapped from the input source here, the Mona Lisa. You can see here, that reactor is working, analyzing source image, analyzing target image, and it actually detects, or well, guesses, ages of the character. So it guesses that Mona Lisa was 44, and the original image here was 24. And as you can see in our result here, we have a, a quick swap of the face. Now this was a quick version. So I've dropped in an image of two people here now. And if we just set this to denoising zero again, change in the size here and open up reactor. We're gonna drop in an image of Johnny Depp here. I'm gonna enable again. And now you have this, these little numbers here, it says zero. And, and that's where in the image the faces are gonna be. And it goes from left to right, zero, one, two, three, etc. So this character here, this is number zero, and this character here, 
that's number one and if there would be an, another one that would be number two three four etc so if we have the zero which is default this face will be changed and if we render this you can quickly see that the leftmost character now is more similar to Depp with the mustache and if you would change that the target image result here to number one and render again we will see as soon as it's finished that the right character here the character on the right side will have the little Johnny Depp mustache and this works for multiple characters and even for multiple inputs so if you have an input with three characters here so maybe you have a Johnny Depp Brad Pitt and a, and a Christian Bale you can separate them with the numbers here from left to right so let's say that you had Christian Bale here on the right you could say that um, if you put zero one here one zero here they would swap places Johnny Depp on the left here would be Johnny Depp on the right here and our imaginary Christian Bale here would be on the left on the, the result and this works just as well if you are in text to image so we have man close-up portrait I've loaded cinematic from my styles those can be those can be downloaded for free in the description below I've loaded my face here and enable that and if we are generating here you can see that another face comes in here at first and then as that's finished reactor swaps in with my face for the end result here so there are several ways you can work with reactor even with finished images or as you are generating just keep pushing out new images you could do like four images here and just bash out a lot of images and see what works you can actually see a woman co woman coming up here as well so this, it's going to be interesting to see how that face gets turned into mine so looking at these four results we have um, four characters here and four, three guys here and a woman that has uh, my facial features not too shabby now you can use the upscale feature here i'm, pr I'm most of the time using nmkdcx if you don't have that you can use um, re sergeant 4x for example that will upscale your image after the, after the face swap has been done you can reverse the order here if you want the upscaler first and then the face swap however however the results are going to be worse so i recommend having this checked i also recommend having restore face code former when using reactor in general i don't approve or i don't prefer using restore faces uh, if you're just generating anything but inside a reactor I found that code former restore faces works uh, pretty well. Hey, while you're here, check out this video too. As always, have a good one. See ya.